My full name, Salma Ibrahim Mohammed Halaini. The twin girls from Manchester who left to join IS. Zahra Halana. Are now 22 year old women in Syria. I was raised from a baby, I was in UK. Held not in a camp, but a high security detention center. Uh, it's just me and my sister. It's me and my sister, we are together. Still together, just as they were in 2014. They were A-level students. One of them had been caught searching propaganda on a computer at college. And six months later, they were gone. Just after Islamic State Group declared its caliphate, they did what hundreds of other British youngsters would later do. On my phone, um, you know, Instagram and this, and I was reading about Islam, you have to, 2014, you have to make, come to Sham and help Syrian people. A familiar explanation heard in Kurdish camps like Al Hol, but it's the sisters' attempt to escape it, to find a way home that have landed them in the custodial conditions normally reserved for the men. I never thought of leaving. Uh, things were good. We had a WHO checking me and my sister, uh, but the situation became very bad. The water was yellow. Uh, I'm suffering. I have uh, injuries on me and uh, my nephew and my sister, she has injury on her head. I was looking at my son because we are all injured. Me, my son and my, and my sister. We are injured people and um, we was getting sick. And I've seen many people in Al-Hul, women leaving. Many women are leaving, leaving, leaving. There's no water. My son is dying. I will go for my freedom. They say they want to go home to their families. I hope that I come back home to them. And like so many here, they claim to have been de-radicalized. We have nothing to do with the Islamic State. Uh, I see myself as a victim. I'm not happy about the Islamic State. They believe they've been banned from Britain, but hope the government of Denmark, the country of their birth, will repatriate them. But it seems unwilling to do so. Rohit Katru, ITV News.